In today's e-commerce growth minutes, let's talk about how to use retail stores to increase your website e-commerce conversions. So first of all, why would you do this? Why would you look at the physical retail world and use that to increase online conversions? Good question. Well, here's the deal. We've tried this with a few clients and clients or well, brands that have physical retail stores actually have this gold mine, which would be salespeople talking with customers every single day. So here's the deal. If you have retail stores, you know, you have sales associates that are on the ground talking with customers directly, not through chat or over the phone, but directly to make a sale. They get to learn what are the customer's biggest objections, the customer's biggest questions, doubts, insecurities, who's that customer you know, most of the time, uh, which brands do they compare your products with, and what needs to be said for a sale to be made, right? Like, and I could go on and on and on, but the point is your sales associates in your retail stores gets tons of valuable information directly from your customers every single day. Now, if you're working on, you know, just e-commerce, you're likely sitting in an office far away from your customers. And, you know, it's hard to get this type of customer feedback, right? We can do surveys, we can do customer interviews over the phone, usability testing, that's all great, and I would 100% still do that. Um, but combine that with all the information that you're getting from your sales associates. So here's what I recommend to go, what I recommend to do in order to really get the most value out of this. Book some time with one of your store managers, so someone who's been there for a while, but that still talks with your customers every single day. Um, prepare a list of questions and really make sure that you know what you're trying to get out of this meeting, right? Or do you really want to get, try to understand how people buy the purchasing decisions, their objections, or maybe, you know, what the retail store employees need to show to the customers to convince them to buy the product, right? My recommendation when we do this here at Splitbase, um, we really try to understand what's the sales process that um, retail store employees take a customer through, even though if it's only for, I don't know, a skincare product or clothing, you know, what are the questions that customers ask? What are their doubts, their concerns? And what do retail stores employees say, you know, that will help convince people? So you really wanna just sit down, book an hour or even two and, and really, you know, just take notes and listen to these people. It's actually pretty simple. If you have great questions, um, sit down, listen, ask your questions. And when you come back to the office with your answers, um, compare that with the answers you got from surveys and polls and your own hypotheses on what you thought, you know, your customers wanted or, you know, the questions you thought your customers had, you know, through, through online channels. Um, use those insights to, you know, kind of evaluate your website and, and ask yourself, well, you know, retail customers told us their biggest objections are X, Y, and Z. Are those things addressed on the website, right? If they're having it, if they're having those objections when looking at the products in the store, they're likely having those same objections when they're shopping online. So, that's how to utilize your retail stores to increase your website conversions. We actually have a pretty extensive process on how to do this because we've done this with a few clients. Um, so I actually wrote a whole blog post on it and it's linked in the comments below. Uh, and you'll be able to read our, our whole process on how to do this, the questions you should ask, um, and really how to convert that into e-commerce sales. Thank you so much for watching my e-commerce growth minutes. I'll see you in the next video.